smoking with the Migos. It's just me and me and Migos. Uh. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna be doing a video on my rap. All the guys been requesting it. You know. What do you do to maintain? What do you do to clean? What should, or even before even wrapping it, like the do's and don'ts of wrapping your car. You know, what, what should you guys look out for? You guys always ask me, what kind of things should I look out for an E36, you know, an E46? The thing is, every car is different, but I'm gonna tell you guys what you guys need to do and be prepared when wrapping a car. So in other words, I'm gonna give you guys all the warnings up front so you guys can order everything you guys need to make sure you don't mess up or have the least error when you guys are gonna be attempting to wrap your car as a beginner, because I know I was a beginner, I wrapped a couple cars now, maybe like four or five I think, and something I've learned over time is that there's certain tools you just need. Now first thing guys, before I start off this video, I just want you guys to look at my outfit. I feel like, I, you know, I'm kicking it, like look at me, like I'm looking pretty good, I like my new shoes, like I'm actually, I'm having a style, you guys know what I mean? I'm trying to work on, you know, my, my dress code. Anyways, so we're gonna focus on the topic of this video. <laughs> I'm just feeling good at how I'm looking. You know, sometimes you guys need to feel yourselves. Um, today I'm feeling it, I'm about to go out, I have a good time. But before I do that, let's get straight down to business because this type of stuff is important to know when wrapping a car. Let's just go ahead and start out with prepping. I believe prepping is honestly one of the most important things of wrapping a car and a clean place to wrap your car. So I recommend a garage if you don't have a garage it's going to be a little bit harder for you to try to borrow a friend's garage to wrap your car because to be honest, when there's wind blowing around, stuff going in between your wrap, um, you know, just dirt, even just even when you're outside and you're wrapping and it's kind of cold, just moisture can get in between and it just can ruin stuff. It can, you can make the, lap, the, the wrap less sticky. Um, I don't know if that's actually true, but I think it is. Anyways, you don't want dirt in there. So the first thing I recommend is giving your car a very clean wash, very thorough wash, because it's probably gonna be the last time you're washing your paint before you wrap it. So make sure it's super clean. Don't leave bird poop on it and then wrap over it. That's gonna eat up your paint. Make sure it's super clean. Wrap is meant to protect paint. So when you peel this off, your paint's gonna look really clean. And uh, you know, that's the proper way of doing it. At the same time, you're not gonna get any bumps, ridges, or anything. Light paint. Paint will show, even if, if you prep the bumper but not 100% perfect, paint's gonna show the imperfections. Same goes with wrap. It's gonna show every single imperfection. Wrap is very thin, very stretchable. It, it will show whatever it needs to show. So other than prepping, another thing you guys need to look out for is wearing gloves. Wear gloves when you're working on wrapping your cars. Now, if you're constantly working on cars, I personally don't believe you need gloves. But if you're going out of your car, touching different types of things, like sometimes, like you know, you're going underneath, you're removing the, the side skirts, your hands are going to be dirty. You guys, if you dirt, there's, gonna, there's probably mud down there, dirt down there. When you touch that kind of stuff, you don't want to go ahead and put a, put your hands underneath the wrap and start pulling. It. So make sure your hands are clean. Wear gloves if you're going to be doing a wrap, and um, that's pretty much it for actually getting your car prepped. Just make sure you clean it, and then you can start wrapping. It's not that hard. All right, guys, and a couple of things that are very important when it's coming to wrap your car is you either need a hair dryer or a heat gun. I mean, as a beginner, I highly recommend using a hair dryer, um, mainly because when you use a heat gun, you're more likely to burn a hole through your wrap and you will become, you will get super mad and you know, that costs a lot of money when you burn holes through wraps. But then again, it makes the job faster, but you know, it does come at a price. And since it goes faster, it could end up burning through or burning a hole straight through your wrap. Now putting the, the heat gun and the, the hair dryer off to the side, let's go ahead and put this off to the side as well. We have three squeegees, okay? So I have two squeegees with these um, soft pads, which I'll have to end up replacing soon. These guys you do have to replace over time. And then one without a pad whatsoever. There's, the reason why I have one for a pad is not for the actual wrap itself when actually squeegeeing out bubbles. It's actually for tucking it in. So I'll show you guys what I use this for exactly. Now when you guys are working on the trim, you need something to help tuck in. I, I find that using a squeegee like this helps you guys tuck in very easy. And at the same time, let's just go ahead and find something that's kind of hard. Like between the bumpers, if you guys don't want to take off your bumpers, you go ahead and put some, cut the wrap and you use a squeegee. I actually just fixed that. I, I saw a little bit of bubble. That just got fixed. Um, and you know, you just go ahead and go in between, get it fixed, easy peasy. So that's what this guy is used for. And of course, the regular squeegees are just used to get all the bubbles out of the wrap. Now these guys are not a must. These are just magnets. These magnets are come really in handy when wrapping your car. When you lay out some wrap, 
You guys seen in multiple of my videos, I lay out some wrap and I put the magnets on both sides or I put two on one side and I start peeling it from one side. So I apply it on the car and then I take these off, I put it back on the car and then I come back to this side and take off the rest of the paper behind the wrap and then end up laying down the wrap. It just makes life a whole lot easier. Um, you guys don't need these, but these guys are like, I think like two for $2 or two for a dollar or any local store. I mean, you can even get them on Amazon come the next day for like a dollar. It's really inexpensive. Um, so that's really, really, really handy. Um, Actually, these came with my squeegees when I bought the squeegee or wrapping starter kit. So I did look into buying more because I lost these and I bought some more. Um, but I ended up finding the two that I need. And the last thing, the most important thing, is a blade of any sort. This one's actually not safe at all. It's actually it's cracked. Somebody abused it. Anyways, um, you need a blade, a knife, an exacto knife, anything like that, just to cut the wrap. The type of cutting you want to do with this is just off to the side. So when you peel up the wrap and cut it in midair, that's what you're going to be using this for. You do not want to use this on your paint. That's going to end up leaving some serious marks underneath your paint when you end up taking off the wrap. I'll show you guys what you use this for exactly, and I'll show you guys what you use bladeless tape for all right guys looking underneath the hood you guys can see um my cuts right here so pretty much i laid out the wrap and i actually used the blade to cut this now it's gonna leave a line when i un when i take off the wrap um, so what I recommend is using bladeless tape. You put a tape right here, it pretty much has like a very thin string, and that string you pull and it automatically cuts all the wrap. You can go ahead and buy that. It's not that cheap, but then again, you spend like $25 in a full bladeless tape for the entire car, and your paint will be immaculate. All right guys, so you guys saw everything. You need bladeless tape. If you guys wanna make sure you have no marks left on your car when you actually peel off your wrap, if you ever think about removing your wrap, um, or ever think about, you know, when you want to sell your car, you want to remove your wrap, you do want to use bladeless tape rather than a blade. But I mean, for example, when you go to a shop, if they tell you they're using blades to cut every single corner, they're ruining your paint. So most likely shops use this more than, you know, us random. If you do it to your own car, it's really not that big of a deal. If you do it to a car that has bad paint, not that big of a deal. But if you do it to a car that has a lot of value, it's kind of a big deal. It's only 25 bucks for the entire car. I'll actually add the bladeless tape down in the link in the description because a lot of people don't know about this, but that is one of the key things to having those perfect cuts and to make sure your wrap ends up tucking and ends up having the clean lines around everywhere. Um, you know, I highly recommend it. A razor blade has its, it has its, you know, its, its place in wrapping, but you do need really safe. I, I can't stress that enough. So now you guys know what you need to prep and now you guys know what you need to actually wrap. Now, when you have the car wrapped and the car is done, it's wrapped, it's very important now to go around the entire car and have a squeegee, a wet squeegee, and go around the entire car. So just have like a bucket of water, grab a squeegee. A lot of people do this, a lot of people don't do this. It's actually really important. So something I've noticed with doing Muhammad's car as a beginner, we left, we, we rushed his door. We wrapped his entire door and then we just left it. We did it at night, we did the entire car and like we did it fairly quickly. So we left the door um, wrapped, but we didn't pay attention that there was bubbles still in the wrap. So once you're actually done, make sure you grab a squeegee, dip it in the water and just go on your car. And then after you've done that entire thing, just go around with a heat gun because the heat gun will pop any bubbles that are small, a little bit bigger so you can actually see it. Again, don't focus the heat gun in any particular spot, but just go around the entire car and you guys will know what I mean. The bubbles will come up, you will notice it, and that will just help you squeegee them all out. You just, you wanna notice everything today, the same day you're wrapping your car, then the next day, because the next day the wrap is dry, there, nothing is gonna let the, the wrap stick to your paint. The wrap is done, it's been in the air too long, dirt's already got in between it, um, or you know, moisture, it's done. You, if you try to put that bubble in, it ain't going nowhere. So that kind of sucks for Muhammad, but we learned that. So make sure you just grab your entire car, just squeegee out every little thing, make sure the car is in light, um, so you guys can see if there's any bubbles, go out at angles, use a heat gun, just to make sure it cures. Um, when you leave your car out in the sun, that's another good way. Um, if, you don't want to, if you don't want to heat gun the entire car, just leave it out in the sun. But do use a squeegee to go around and make sure that everything is good. Now, a lot of people told me that washing a wrapped car is gonna be very difficult, and that kind of scared me because, you know, Washing a car already takes a lot of time. And if you're not a car enthusiast, people don't even like washing cars. People used to tell me that if you use a power wash on wrap, it's gonna end up peeling, it's gonna, you know, it's gonna go in between the wrap, it's gonna mess up the wrap. To be honest, that's almost impossible. I mean, as not as somebody that's not even a professional, I don't even have like the cleanest lines. Water is not going in, water is not peeling it. 
Um, maybe I, I, maybe that's because I had my wrap on for a little bit. I mean, I remember I, I did my first power wash two weeks after I wrapped my car. So maybe I would give it around two weeks before you actually power wash your car, but the wrap is not coming off. Trust me, it's not coming off. You don't need to worry about that. You could power wash your car. You could wash it like an ordinary car. You can use a, a sponge like an ordinary car. Um, I actually recommend power washing my, your car because it, it, it I see my wrap lasting a whole lot more than washing it at home. I see less dirt on it. I see less water stains on there. I personally like power washing my wrap. I've been doing it for the last year. I have no issues, not a single peeling anywhere whatsoever. Um, again, if you guys saw my last video, the front bumper is peeling, but that's because I wrapped it incorrectly and that has nothing to do with power washing. And even I power wash it there, it's not peeling any more than it is. So cleaning is no issue whatsoever. Do not ever think that clean, don't wrap your car because you're scared about how hard cleaning is gonna be. The major issue you're gonna have with having a wrapped car is like what I mentioned in my last video, is gonna be removing all the dust. Wrap tends to attract a lot of dust. You just gotta maintain it. I actually use this guy to actually get all the dust off my car. It makes my life a whole lot easier and voila, it's done. Maintaining a wrap is not that hard. People make it out to be hard. If I had my car wrapped for about a year and a half now, I'm telling you guys, there's no issue. I don't see it peeling anytime soon. I don't see any of my lines stretching out any more than it's supposed to. That's just how rap is. Rap is honestly very dependable and you know, it's, it's a good thing. Purpose of this video is to tell you guys to, what, what to watch out for. Once your car is wrapped, you're good to go. You can wash it like a normal car. You can clean it like a normal car. You can't polish it. It's still wrapped. It's not paint. There's not more layers. There's just one layer, but it's just, it acts like a normal car. But yeah, very easy guys. Nothing to be afraid of. Um, just make sure it, the car is prepped. Make sure your hands are clean and just have fun. You know, wrapping is honestly, it's a good experience. I, I love seeing a car, you know, the color of the car being one color and then transforming to another. It's like one of the most satisfying things, especially if it's gonna be your car. You gotta be seeing if your car is like some ugly looking dark red color that just looks so bad, you can end up wrapping it in like aqua blue or some, you know, some very like navy blue, metallic gray, something that, you know, after you wrap like one door, you're gonna be like amazed. You're gonna be excited. You wanna wrap the entire car. All right, it's getting very hot out here. So I'm just gonna get to the end of the video. For those of you guys who are afraid to wrap, don't be. It's not that expensive. You know, you're trying out a new hobby and it becomes your job. You never know, it's $300, all right? Do $300, buy, you spend $300 on some wrap, wrap your car. Um, if you mess up some things, spend an extra 100 bucks on some more wrap, wrap your car. Ends up being great, great, you're happy. You got a $400 um, paint job technically. Technically, it's not a paint job, don't bash me for it. But I mean, you can change the whole color of your car. If it didn't work out, Look at the bright side. You didn't spend, you know, a hell of a lot of money buying all kinds of paint equipment, a painting room, all that stuff because paint, you know, is a whole lot harder. It's a, it's it's an art. It's hard to do. Or you can end up being best case scenario and you end up being a rapid professional and you can start rapid cars for, you know, as a job, as a career, as a future. It's not that hard if you guys look at it. It's 400 bucks. It's not the end of the world. I mean, 400 is a lot of money, but it's a PlayStation 4. Now, if you guys are planning to wrap your cars, make sure you guys tag me on the wraps that you guys are actually getting on your Instagram and show me the progress on your YouTube channel. Maybe I put some of your guys' cars on my channel because I love seeing builds. I love seeing cars get wrapped, especially the E90s, E92, this generation that my channel revolves around. So make sure to link me that kind of stuff. Even if it's any BMW at all, link it to me. I like to see it. I love to comment on it. And I like to see people like myself going after some crazy stuff and just, you know, not being afraid. It's not the end of the world, guys, if you mess up on a wrap. It's not paint. It protects paint. It doesn't change paint. It doesn't, you won't need to sand it. You remove it, worst case scenario. So that's the end of the video. I don't want to stress it anymore. Make sure to smash the like button. Remember to share this video if it helped you. It's going to help out a lot more people. I know it. And um, yeah, remember to stay humble. And oh yeah, guess who just started some merch? Make sure to cop that merch down below if you guys are like me and like to spread positivity because that's what life's all about, spreading positivity and just you know staying positive. Now I love you guys. Time to end this video. Time to get something to eat. And uh, yeah, peace out. Shawty hit my line and she's tryna get up on me I tell her like Habibti, that's too hot on my line With the eye, I was raised with some mileage And everyone got a friend named Abdi I'm from OT